Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to look at this differential. And a lot of questions I get is people want to buy one used, but they don't know what to look for. One of the things you got to keep in mind, mileage is not always a factor. What ultimately depends on your gears is how hard they've been worked, how hard they've been abused, versus someone who's drove like 300,000 kilometers highway mileage. One thing you'll notice is that every time you change differential fluid, there will be some metal particles in it, only because the gears always continually wear. So this one here has been sitting in the junkyard for a while. So let me just uh, adjust this light. And in the case here on the bottom, there's a lot of sludge, right? That sludge is not good. Having a big build up like that, like look at it. That's not good. That's telling me that there's probably a little bit more wear than what there should be. So upon further inspection of that sludge, it doesn't seem like it is metallic in nature, which is good. That sludge could be a number of things, including clutch material from the limited slip. If you want to look at a used differential, you want to see if anything is broken right off the bat. Like I could see right here, there's something, something that just came off right there. I don't know if just the cover's flaking or whatever, but you want to turn the differential. You want to see if there's any broken or chipped teeth which is a good indication that's your pinion gear down there sorry to get a, a light that'll stick on this rust and be able to shine it's very important that you shine a light down at the pinion to make sure that the pinion gear does not have any chips and to make sure that everything looks good. Check for some backlash. Now, of course, realistically, I'd have to put a dial on it to measure the backlash, but just by my hands, it feels pretty good. It does feel pretty tight still. Now, one of the things you wouldn't be able to look at unless you physically took it apart is that this is a limited slip differential so right there on the side all these plates is where your clutch friction pads are so at this point in time I don't know how good those pads are until you physically take this thing apart but just by looking at the spider gears spider gears seem like they're in pretty decent shape Going back to the teeth, the wear pattern's looking good on the differential, on the drive and co side, looking really good. Pattern set up good. A lot of times you'll find, in my experience, anyways, that when the differential starts having some issues, if you have spider gears, you'll find that the spider gears start to get chewed up. Like in my Dana 30. Those spider gears were taking a beating, but these ones don't seem too bad. Another telltale sign you want to look at, if you ever want to know if the differential has been taken apart, are that these carrier bearing clamps are machined to each side, so if they've never been off before, they have to go back in the same spot. So usually people will somehow mark them. I mean this one's marked C80 and that one's got a C93. So you can go off that reference. But a lot of people will just take take a punch and punch like a mark there. The punch like a mark there. And that's how they verify what side that they had went on. But overall, I mean I don't know. The mileage on this differential, 
All I know is that right now looking at it, the gear is a Ford, it's stamped Ford 410. I know it's a 410 limited slip that I picked up from the junkyard for $100. And if I wanted to throw this in a vehicle and dry it on it, I think the only thing I would do is um, take the carrier out, inspect the clutch packs, but I'm going to do that in another video. But I think right now, the way this differential is looking, it's looking good. It's looking pretty good. I don't see any any damage within the carrier itself. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.